Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video I want to talk about uh, causes of uh, baldness and uh, if you have been following my channel you know that I talk about a lot about inflammation, uh, about allergies, and of course DHT because those are kind of mind factors behind my hair loss when I was having it right so I was able to solve them and I was able to get back my hair because I solved my inflammation, I solved my allergies and DHT but there are of course other things that can cause uh, baldness as well or can be uh, like a play in and make uh, balding more aggressive. Uh, we have things like, for example, uh, theory dysfunctions. We have uh, iron deficiencies and other uh, nutrition deficiencies. We have also things like um, uh, aspartame, in, uh, like energy drinks or uh, diet coke that can cause uh, baldness as well. There is even uh, been done studies recently that shows that uh, artificial sweeteners like uh, aspartame can cause issues. And uh, basically what happens is that if you do have a tendency of male pattern baldness and you add some other factors, it will make hair loss even worse and more aggressive. Like in my case, when I was having inflammation and allergies, uh, and of course I also had a DHT problem, uh, it made my hair loss more aggressive uh, and my hair fall out even harder and faster. So uh, those things affect, right, they make uh, baldness more progressive. So that's why we need to be careful what we are uh, kind of consuming, uh, be sure that we actually are doing things to prevent uh, baldness from happening in the first place, like uh, blocking DHT, like uh, addressing uh, inflammations and allergies and other factors that can cause issues. And uh, for me, basically, when I first started with Finasterid back in 2008, it did uh, give me awesome results. I was able to recover very nicely my hair and you can check my pictures below this video. I have added my before pictures. You can see how nicely uh, I was able to recover my hair loss in 2008. But again, I was uh, hit by scalp inflammation in 2011 and I started to lose my ground again. I uh, like basically I started to thin out again my scalp was uh, tensed and irritated and inflammated and it just progressed my hair loss again and finasteride was not as effective anymore right so it just shows how important it is to address all the factors that can cause hair loss because uh, even if you have a good results with finasteride now or other DHT blocker it's still uh, is there always a possibility that something can come up and cause issues and that's why I am quite uh, careful what kind of diet I'm having what kind of things I'm applying on my scalp, what kind of uh, like uh, what kind of shampoos I'm using. Uh, basically everything that can cause issues, I address it and uh, remove from my plan. Right? This is so important. Right? And it's also important that you know your scalp conditions, right? Is it your scalp oily? Is it dry? Uh, what state is it, right? What, what is can, can cause problems and uh, finding out right, right plan, right uh, things you can apply on your scalp or uh, take uh, to address your issues. Right? Okay guys, and uh, for you who do need help with this problem and uh, you want to have basically a structure to follow, plan to have, you can schedule a call Blob Studio, let's talk and see how I can help you. 